Hey everyone, welcome to the Gunpla Network. I'm Murdoch, and this is 5 Minute Mecca, where I've got 5 minutes to give you the rundown on a mech. Today, we're looking at the iconic Gadax 105 Strike Gundam from the cosmic era of Gundam Seed. Debuting 20 years ago, at the age of 2002, the Strike Gundam visually serves as a nice update to the original 1978, excuse me, 1979, RX-78-2, featuring an equipment changing gimmick known as Striker Packs, the strike could quickly change from close up melee combat to long range fire support. This of course allowed our plastic overlords at Bandai to use the same bases for multiple action figures and model kits. Because of course. Gundam Seed would be a revamped version of the basic concepts of old school Gundam for a new generation. Series director Mitsuo Fukuda was a lifelong Gundam fan that wanted to update the series for the teens of the early 2000s. Way to make me feel old. Not only was Fukuda newish to Gundam, we'd also see the big project debut of Junichi Akutsu, who would work on a lot of the mechanical designs for the series. While this work was cleaned up by the Gundam godfather himself, Kunio Okawara, Gundam Seed's mechanic designs were a far cry from the near super robots of the 1990s. Coming in at 17.72 meters in height, the Strike Gundam would fit in scale with most of its predecessors, but some of those striker packs were a wee bit bigger, or made it look a bit bigger anyway. The base unit itself features only a few weapons, independent of any striker packs. Starting from the top down, we have two Itzel Galung 75mm anti-air close-in weapon systems, one on each side of the head unit, might sound familiar. Uh, we have two internally stowed Armor Schneider combat knives in the side skirts. We have one 57mm high energy beam rifle and a bazooka and a shield. The shield is anti-beam coated. Along with these weapons, the strike would feature this cool thing we would learn to know called phase shift armor. This thing not only added P Bandai deactivated recolors to, uh, to Bandai's catalog, but it also stopped all physical attacks. Meaning this armor, while it was active, meant swords, machine guns, rockets, and other kinetic and physical attacks would be virtually useless. The L-Striker pack was most prominently featured in the series, allowing for atmospheric flight and more maneuverability. Additionally, this pack features two beam sabers mounted just behind the head unit. The Launcher Strike Pack features the huge Agni 320mm Hyper Impulse Cannon and a shoulder mounted unit containing the 120mm anti ship Vulcan gun and two 350mm missile pods. Lastly, for the original animated packs, we have the Sword Striker with the massive Schwertgewehr 15.78m anti ship sword. The forearm mounted Panzer Eisen rocket anchor and a shoulder mounted Midas Messer beam boomerang. Try saying that three times fast. Not sure why the Cosmic Era loves its beam boomerangs and their nonsensical existence, but they do. The Strike Gundam's final form comes in the way of the perfect strike. Combining all three of the previously mentioned packs while adding some additional battery packs for the extended operational time. Oh yeah, these run on batteries. Now in terms of other variants, versions and models of the strike, we of course have the non-animated lightning pack with more batteries and the type 7031 electromagnetic cannon developed by the Orb Union, Orb Union, pardon me, AKA the Cosmic Era's Japan proxy. Speaking of orb, we also have the Strike Rouge. A near copy of the Strike, but donning a pink 
whitish reddish color scheme. We'd also get the Strike E, which was an upgraded form of the Strike Gundam made by the Earth Alliance forces. This would also be the basis for the ultimate edgelord known as the Strike Noir. And that's the... Wait, I'm forgetting something, aren't I? Oh yeah, the Gun Barrel Striker Pack. Basically, what if Moves Mobius Zero passionately crashed into the Strike Gundam? Oh dear. All jokes aside, it's actually a really cool unit. And that's it for the Strike Gundam, or at least as much as five minutes will allow. Until next time. Can't do it. A little bit bigger. Little bit bigger. Along with these weapons, the strike would also have feature this cool thing we know as shave. Shave. <laughs> Batteries. Truly the future our boy Elon envisions. Mobile suits by Tesla, spaceships by SpaceX, and colonies by Blue Origin, maybe? Why stop at being the richest men in the world when you can also be the richest men in space? It apparently was also stronger, stronger because both my arms need to work. <laughs>